Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Italy. Virtus Bologna title. The Heart of Bologna. A Quest for the Virtus Spirit Part 1. The call of the past in the heart of Italy, where cobblestone streets whispered tales of ancient glory, a city pulsated with an unquenchable spirit, Bologna. Known for its rich history and renowned cuisine, it was also home to one of the most storied basketball clubs in Europe, Virtus Bologna. Founded in 1934, Virtus was more than a basketball team. It was a cultural institution, an embodiment of the city's ambitions, struggles, and triumphs. But in recent years, something had changed. Once a powerhouse in the Italian Basketball League, Virtus found itself overshadowed by both local rivals and international contenders. The loyal fans, the black and whites, known for their vibrant chants and unwavering support, began to fade, anxiously questioning what had happened to the spirit of Virtus. Part 2. The relentless search for identity one chilly November evening. A group of passionate supporters convened at a local cafe, Cafe Zamboni, where the aroma of roasted espresso beans mingled with the sweet notes of freshly baked tortellini. Among them was Elena, a longtime fan, who couldn't shake the feeling that the essence of Virtus Bologna was slipping away. Elena, inspired by her grandfather's stories of the club's glory days, decided it was time to embark on a journey. She invited her friends, Marco, an aspiring journalist, Sarah, a graphic designer, and Luca, a retired coach, to join her in uncovering the roots of the club's proud identity. They sought to understand what had driven Virtus to greatness and, most crucially, how they could revive that spirit. Part 3. Unearthing the Legacy, their journey led them through the hidden gems of Bologna, from the majestic Two Towers to the historic Palazzo Arena, where they spoke to former players, coaches, and passionate fans. Each conversation unearthed layers of history, from the legendary titles won in the 1990s to the legendary figures who had donned the Virtus jersey. Former player Roberto Bobby Fontana recounted the magic of teamwork and camaraderie, emphasizing that the secret to Virtus success lay not just in talent, but in a profound connection to the city. When we played, it was for Bologna. Every rebound, every assist was a tribute to our roots, Bobby recalled reflecting on the energy that bonded the players to their fans. In contrast, a somber tone filled the air as they spoke to Julia, a lifelong supporter who had witnessed the highs and lows of the club. It feels like our team forgot us, she lamented. We crave that connection again, the electrifying nights when Bologna felt alive. Part 4. The power of community determined to rebuild the bridge between the club and its supporters. Elena and her friends organized a community event in the vibrant Piazza Maggiore. They invited families, local musicians, and past players, creating a space for old memories to resurface and new ones to unfold. As the sun set over the piazza, casting a golden hue on the gathering, they unveiled a series of interactive displays chronicling the club's history. Former players shared their experiences. Mario, the mascot, entertained children, and fans united in a symphony of chants that echoed through the city. The event sparked something profound. People began to reclaim their love for Virtus, sharing stories of how the team had been intertwined with their own lives. The moments of triumphs that mirrored personal victories, the heartbreaks that mirrored struggles. Part 5. A new dawn for Virtus Bologna months passed. And as the new season approached, a newfound energy enveloped the Virtus Bologna community. The team, inspired by the rekindled connection with its fans, entered the season with fresh zeal. They donned the black and white jerseys, not just as players, but as ambassadors of a heritage that belonged to the city. As they played each game, the atmosphere in the arena turned electric, with the fans chanting louder, their loyalty unyielding. The players, invigorated by the support, fought hard for every point, and slowly, they began to climb the ranks once more. Through their journey, Elena, Marco, Sarah, and Luca had uncovered a powerful truth. Virtus Bologna was not merely a basketball team. It was a symbol of resilience and identity for the people of Bologna. It linked the past to the present, binding generations together in the ardor of sport. In the end, the quest wasn't just about a team reclaiming its former glory. It was about the heart of Bologna, 
a city that would always rise, together, no matter the score. And in their hearts, they knew that the spirit of Virtus Bologna would endure, forever shining brightly as a beacon of community and passion.